Keeping your Chrome browser organized is something that's really going to help with productivity and workflow. So I'm going to show you how to do that with bookmarks and the reading list. So first I'm going to start off by going over to this blog. Let's say this is a blog that I want to read. I mean, in, in honesty, I do read this often. So it's something that I want to have good, easy access to. So I'm going to add this to my bookmarks. To do so, I simply click on the star in the URL bar click on that and it's going to allow me to add the bookmark. Now it's asking where do I want to put it on my bookmarks bar, which is this bar right here below the URL bar, or I could also put it in my other bookmarks folder. For now, I'm just going to put it on that bar and click done. And now you'll see they've added that blog right here. So when I'm adding things to the bookmark bar, it can go all the way across. Now, as you can imagine, it can probably get a bit cluttered if I do that too often. So there are ways to organize your bookmarks bar. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the bookmarks tab and open my manager. So here's showing all of the different um, things that I have in my bookmarks bar right now. So a couple different things I can do. First thing, clicking on the three dots, I can edit the name of the bookmark. So for the first one is my UART's home. Well, do I really need to have the word home? Maybe it just UART's is enough. So I'm going to delete that. And now it just says UART's. I see the little icon UART's. Well, my next bookmark is Canvas. If you use Canvas, you know the Canvas icon. So let's be real. Do I even need the word Canvas? I'm going to go up to edit this one. And I'm going to get rid of the entire word. The link is still there, so notice what happens now. I still have it in my bookmarks bar, but it's only as that little icon. Okay. Now, another thing that's really nice to do within your bookmarks is to create folders. So I'm going to go up to the top right, three dots, and I'm going to add a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder, be real creative, Google Stuff. And within that folder, I'm going to put the Google Teacher Center, and maybe I'll even put these two blogs because they're both pretty, pretty googly. So now when I look at my bookmarks bar, I see my UART's home, my Canvas, and then this Google Stuff folder. Open that up. Once I click on that, then I can see those three um, websites. So thinking about this practically, why might you want to have folders? Maybe you have specific um, websites that you visit when you're teaching band and specific ones that you visit when you're teaching your sixth grade general music class. You could keep them all in that folder and have really easy access to it. Um, or maybe you have things specific to your school district, same thing, keep them in that folder. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you is what's called the reading list. Now, the reading list is for things that you don't need to save it forever. You just don't want to forget about it. So again, blog posts, articles, things like that might go on a reading list. The reading list you'll access over here on the right-hand side, they call it the side panel. It's going to be right next to your little profile thing. Click on the side panel and that'll open up. So at this point, you can look at your reading list or once again, you can see all your bookmarks, but let's go back to reading list. So all I have to do is click add current tab, and it's going to show me now the things that I haven't read, things that I've saved here to the reading list. Now, let's say this one, oh, I have read it, all good. I can click mark as read, and now it gets moved down to the bottom. So it'll separate it unread and read, and then eventually I can just delete it if I want to. So the reading list is great for things that you know you you want to access later but you don't need to have saved forever so that's going to be your reading list